come back to one new question. Our one new question for today actually concerns a day that just happened. It's a leap year question. The question is, it's from my uh, mentor, uh, friend, and ninth grade English teacher, uh, Cynthia Smart, who asks, why is leap year marked by an extra day in February instead of having a longer summer month? This is an excellent question. It's a question that I've actually uh, not only asked myself, but have uh, through a litany of history classes, <laughs> which is where to get the condensed version of this of this story, uh, have actually, if you study any Roman history, you'll, you'll find this story, but it's an interesting story. And I'm uh, going to get this information from, I believe, uh, Scientific American. Uh, there's some math, but basically what happens is uh, is that to give you some background, a tropical year is 365.2422 days, mean solar days in length. This is because, and I'm reading from Scientific American, because the Earth's rotation and orbital period aren't linked in any way, so they don't divide evenly. So what we're left with is about 2422, which is like a little a little less than a day. So if you start measuring the day and the year at the exact same moment, the end of one Earth year will have spun 365 times plus an extra some change. And after about four years, it ends up uh, where it rounds, it ends up to just short of a day. So you build like an extra day in a year. So this was known apparently to ancient peoples. Uh, I'm utterly convinced that we have lost more uh, information to antiquity than we even know now. So Julius Caesar, the Caesar, decided to change the basis of the Roman calendar from using the moon, which was the way they were keeping time, to the sun. This also gets this gets into the whole Copernicus thing, and, you know that once we figure out that we are not the center of the solar system, our whole idea changed. So what he decreed was that every fourth year, an extra day would be added to keep everything in sync. That's how you get leap day. So this is technically called an intercalary day, which is mean, which is why you get the leap day in, in February. Now the interesting part is that this math is not math. There's also a whole story about the calendar, which we're gonna to get to in a second. But what happens is, is that by adding a whole day every four years, you're actually adding too much. It's how you get, up, get to that close to extra day, but not a whole day. The, interest, the difference is about 45 minutes. So it means about every four years, you still have about three quarters of an hour to account for, and then that time's gonna build up, the calendar's gonna be off again. So, enter the rise of the popes, which is a whole other story about how the church became the center of both politics and culture and what we're talking about is Pope Gregory the 13th, who reformed the calendar in 1582. So he decreed that every hundredth year, or to make it kind of simple, every year ending in double zero, would not be a leap year. So, you, so no leap day would be added. There are 25 leap days in a century, so this method removes about like three quarters of a day and the calendar kind of syncs up better in the long run. But once again, the math is not exact. So, once again, reading for Scientific American, using this algorithm, every hundred years, the calendar is going to run uh, close up to a day, and that adds up. So, as part of his papal papal bull or papal decree, uh, Pope Gregory the Thirteenth also declared every four hundredth year would once again require a leap day. So, by then, the days start to add up, but it it, it just it still throws everything off. Anyway. That's the rule we're using now. So every fourth year, meaning every year that's evenly divisible by four, is a leap year. And you get an extra day. Except for every hundred years where we skip the leap day, except for every 400 years where we reverse the rule and add a leap day again. It's like I before E except after C. Like neighboring way. They don't change this rule no matter what you say. Anyway, um... So the years end up like this. 1700, 1800, and 1900 were not leap years. 2000 was, but 
because even though it's divisible by evenly by 100, it's also evenly divisible by 400. The year 2100 will not have a leap year, but the year 2400 will, and so on. So this actually gets us kind of close to synced up. You can ask why Pope Gregory XIII didn't use 500 years instead of 400, because then the, the leftover amount would be after 100 years is close to a fifth of a day, but that's... Who knows? But, so, because even though our current rule will still leave uh, everything, like, a little bit off, like, so in theory, we add a whole day every 400 years, but that's too much. Like, it's a little more than a day. So we could change the rule, say, every 3,200 years, we don't make a leap year. Because this is how the math works. Once again, I'm reading for Scientific American because I am not a math person. So 8 times 0.12 is 0.96. So we can skip a leap year every eighth 400 year cycle, which is every 3,200 years. So that would mean that the year and the day will be off by 0.4, which is just under an hour. So every, like, just under an hour every three millennia. Uh, but who's thinking that we're gonna, like, get to millennia? So, that's how that ends up, ends up. There's a lot of politics behind it. There's a lot of shifting in, in uh, the way Europe was governed, there's a lot of uh, palace intrigue when it came to uh, how Rome fell and uh, Rome didn't, Rome kind of collapses in itself because the Pope there's the rise of the popes. It's a whole thing. There are whole history channels devoted to that. I don't do history. I could, but I don't because the way I view history is, is kind of awkward. So, but that's a, that's a story for another day. So that was this. Uh, one new question. Keep the questions pouring in. We're gonna uh, we're gonna start posting against my one new question onto Twitter. See if I, I'm sure I will get interesting responses. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave other questions in the comment section. We will get to those questions uh, post haste. So I appreciate you stopping by. Stop by again. Goodbye.